Aries, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for March 29th through April 5th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your uh, current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Aries. Nice. The overall energy for the reading, the King of Wands. This kind of comes in as your energy. And this is a good energy to have because it's your own. It's, you know, it represents you being in, feeling good in your own skin. Uh, being self-empowered and all of the good guys. Um, in the recent past, you get the Judgment card, the Ten of Wands, the Empress. Okay, so I feel like you made a decision here about someone in particular that is coming in under this Empress energy. Uh, definitely somebody that's uh, clearly, clearly someone very important to you. Uh, I feel like it wasn't a very easy decision to make, but you made it, whatever decision that is. Um, in the current situation, you get the Five of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Justice card. Remember that decision that you made? Um, it's kind of like going back and trying to fix things. Uh, in this current situation, that's the energy that appears. Kind of like, oh shit, you know? Um, not telling me necessarily that you're regretting the decision in that time that you made it. But kind of trying to um, maybe bring some balance and peace to the situation or something like that. Um, <clears throat> lots of determination to fix something from the past. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Four of Swords, the Lovers, the Chariot. Okay, lots of healing transpiring through this connection. And I feel like it's for you, for them, for the connection, for the both of you, basically. And I feel like things are going to start moving and they're going to start moving fast. Once this healing is starting to take place, um, a lot of things are going to start to to show up, basically. Um, let's see. Let's clarify. Let me clarify the King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Eight of Wands. Okay. Um, sorry, one card flew away. It just doesn't want to stick here. Okay, so... <clears throat> you're seeking to understand what it is that you want uh, in terms of a long-term commitment, right? So maybe your idea of a long-term commitment was in this way, and now things are shifting. Things may not look the same in terms of maybe you don't want that anymore. Maybe you did, and it was okay for the time that you did, but right now something's changing in that. Because um, there's a lot of confusion tied up to what do I want, you know, out of somebody else, out of a commitment with somebody, out of me and a commitment with somebody and all of that. And I feel like there's a lot of back and forth conversation about that so it could be you talking to yourself about it a lot uh trying to figure things out for yourself or bouncing off this kind of energy with somebody else you know there's there's it, it almost feels like a therapy kind of situation of you know trying to figure things out and somebody's on the other side to get the words throw them back at you and then there you go you kind of try to figure things out um Let's see, let me clarify the Judgment card in the recent past. Four of Wands, Five of Swords, the Empress again. All right, so there was definitely some sort of bond that you felt with this person. Now you may have wanted to bring it to the surface, right? To offer it to this person. Uh, with the Five of Swords showing up here for you, 
I don't think it came out this energy of commitment. I don't think it came out in the purest way. Maybe you did want that. Maybe your intentions were that. But with the Five of Swords being here, this is telling me that no, it wasn't necessarily that. You didn't necessarily offer that even though you wanted that. You know, um, or again, you may have told yourself that this commitment should look in this way and that that doesn't necessarily work, you know, sometimes. So maybe that's why you're having this um, kind of debate with yourself of what do I want? What am I looking for? What am I willing to compromise if there's anything that I'm willing to compromise and all of that when it comes to commitment? Again, that's the... Um, that's the um, main situation you're dealing with, uh, where you stand in regards to commitment. Let's do the Empress in the recent past, Queen of Swords, the Star of the Three of Swords. All right, this person seems a little bit um, not invested, not fully invested in the situation. I feel like something happened here. They went through a lot of pain, something shut them down emotionally. Regardless, I feel like this is what you wanted. This is what they wanted. Hold on, my baby boy is here. My baby boy is here. He almost knocked at the door. Um. So yeah, they seem to come from a very painful place, which you know sometimes it's very hard to open up your heart when you're going through something painful. Um, and again, through that. It's still something that you wanted. It's still something that they wanted, this connection. I don't know how well that went with that Queen of Swords being there and not really leaving their guard down. Let's do the Five of Cups in the current situation. Oh my God, cards are flying out like crazy. Eight of Cups, Page of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. All right, you're in the middle of just Putting the past where it belongs, in the past, basically, right? Uh, you're, you're taking small steps towards um, releasing the past, you know, not carrying it with you in the present, in the future, in the... It's over there in the past where it belongs, right? And that actually kind of clears you up. It, it gives you this boost into self-confidence. So, like, how do I put this? You know when you, you you kind of put stuff in your closet and you put it there and you put it there and you don't really use it, but you, you, you just keep it there. And then at some point it's like, okay, cleaning time. And then half your closet is gone because, you know, uh, it kind of feels like that, like that kind of a relief of, whew, look at that, you know, kind of thing. So that's the energy I'm getting from this. It, it empowers you in some way. Um... Because I feel like you were hanging on to many, many things from the past. Um, let's do the Knight of Swords in the current situation. Four of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Okay. Um, you're not giving something up. I see you trying to take action towards something or someone. So you're not giving something up. Um, now, what I see here is a sense of waiting on your side. So it could be that, yes, you're determined to go after what it is that you want. Could I, I, I do see the action being taken. I do see you going for it, but not right now. You know, so I see that, uh, a little bit of I can't do it right now because it's not up to me. So I have to wait for things to clear up for me so that I can go in, whatever this is. Um, Let's clarify the Justice card in the current situation. Boys, be cool. I didn't let you in here to start playing with us. For the Justice, you get the Ten of Cups, the Five of Wands, the Seven of Swords. It's ironic that both of you want happiness, especially you here showing up. You want happiness. You want this beautiful, loving energy, this, wow, it feels so great kind of energy. Uh, you're forgetting one little thing, one little issue. 
there's things that are not resolved between the two of you. There's some sort of conflict that's showing up. There's some sort of you two not being on the same page. There's something that's not clicking. And you're like, well, yeah, but, you know, I want happiness. Okay. But what's preventing you from getting there is this little issue here showing up that you're like, well, who has time for that? You know, why, why look at that? It's not going to bother us. It's not going to be in the way. Uh, yeah, it kind of will. You know, because it's something that's unresolved. And it might pop up at some time. Um, in this dynamic, in this relationship. And there's a need for balance here. There's a need for balance for things to be happy. Um, and somebody doesn't want to look at what's out of that balance. Let's do the Four of Swords. Knight of Swords, King of Swords, the Hangman. I kind of like this. When it first came out, I'm like, eh, what's going on here? But then it came in with a sense of cool. There's a little bit of an energy of my way or the highway kind of thing. A little bit of a controlling kind of energy. A little bit of it has to be like this for things to, to work out. Uh, it's on your side. I feel like you're trying to heal that, that controlling aspect, right? Um, so there's there's you kind of getting into that very riled up space of, oh, I can't wait to do something, but if it doesn't work out my way, then fuck it all or something like that, you know? Um, but you're holding yourself off. You're healing that aspect of yourself. And it's not like, oh my God, I really wish for something to happen, but I can't do it, so I'm holding myself off. I'm not going to be honest with myself. It's not that. It's, that. it's more of that controlling aspect that you're trying to figure out, to work with, and to work through, and learn from it and through it, basically. Um, so there's a lot of healing around that aspect of yourself let me do the lovers in the immediate future hoo, hoo, hoo. the fool the hierophant the justice card things are are kind of getting themselves naturally into this beautiful flow this beautiful balance in this connection um it almost feels like you are doing the work here on yourself not focusing on what the other person does when they're gonna call if they're gonna call and all of that and then things fall back into place basically the energies kind of take care of themselves and i do see this progress within you and then bam what is it chewbacca you want to come up here i know come on Come on, but do not take my table, okay? You don't wanna come, you don't wanna come. It's fine. Let's do the chariot in the immediate future. Six of pentacles, king of cups, five of pentacles. There's one little issue that you may still want to work on. There's a lot of love, there's a lot of balance that's shown up really fast. And it shows up so fast and it's happening in such a natural way that it almost kind of scares you here. You know, so when this shows up, it's coming from your own fears. There's nothing wrong with these energies. When things start to align, everything starts to happen in a natural, beautiful, flowing way. Very loving. But given that we're not really used to that, we have the mind coming in, trying to protect us, and uh, coming up with some sort of fear. Like, nah, too good to be true. Nah, this is not gonna last. It can last if you work through this fear of failure, of abandonment, whatever is fear you're holding within this. Uh, let's see what the universe has. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. You're, you're moving from the page to the Knight, there's progress. And this is telling me more, again, uh, of progress in that energetic sense, rather than physically you're moving towards them, even though these are physical, practical cards, right? Uh, so in the 3D, things might happen really, really slow. In the energetic shift that I'm seeing here, it's progressing in a pretty good way. 
it's gonna transpire like this though, very, very slow. Uh, heading towards your person that might currently be a little bit emotionally detached. But that's their business, their thing to work through. Um, you're doing it. You're doing it. So uh, that's what I have for you, Aries. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.